everybody it's Carrie welcome back to my channel happy Thursday and we are doing a jewelry tutorial today we have more earrings I've been on a flower and bellflower kick I just love them they're so pretty I have tons of them so I've been trying to use them up I really like the way these turned out. So let's get into the video and check out the supplies that we need. Okay, so for our supplies today, I am using some of these bellflowers. These are um, a little bit on the bigger side and then I have some, see those teeny tiny ones? They both came from box bargains then I have some of these pretty love these um, flowers these came from Lima beads they're like um, sea glass their name was sea glass blue something I don't remember but they were on sale not too long ago and um, I stocked up on them I have my ear wires, I have two, um, well you're going to need um, ball head pins, eye pins, I have bead caps, and spacer beads, those two came from bead box bargains as well. You will need your tools, wire cutters, round nose pliers, chain nose pliers, it's my uh, one step looper. So first we are going to start with our little um, bellflowers. I already have this one wrapped because as I was experimenting I changed up the um, design of how they dangle on the bottom. So we're going to take our biggest bellflower and thread that on and you want your dangles to be about the same on each um, earring so they somewhat match. I'm going to make some small little wrapped loops. So I have a little bit of length between my um, bead and my pliers. I'm going to push the wire away, rotate your pliers, bring the wire towards you, rotate, and wrap that wire around. So that is what we have going to grasp the loop and wrap that wire around three or four times then we're going to trim the excess wire you don't have any little wires poking out. Okay, tuck that in there. And so that is what it looks like. Your um, bellflower will um, slide around on it. So these eye pin or head pins I got off of Amazon. I don't remember how many were in there, but um, I will leave the link form down below. We're going to add on our other tiny bell flower. And you are going to want this one a little bit shorter. 
order than the first one. So I'm just kind of measuring and eyeballing. Doesn't have to be apps. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And so we got just a little bit of space in there. So that way they will um, be staggered. Okay, so push your wire away. Rotate your pliers. Push your wire towards you. Rotate and push your wire around. And now we are going to wrap. The bead cap will cover some of your wrapping, so your wrapping don't have to be absolutely perfect. So we have that one. So our last little um, bellflower dangle, the loop is all the way, dropsies, the loop is all the way um, to the top of the flower. So I like to um, wrap them first and connect them um, to your eye pin is it's easier um, before you put the bead cap on there so you can see what you're doing i'm just opening up the eye pin and i'm threading on our dangle so i'm putting one the um middle length one then the long one and then the very short one I'm going to close up our eye pin. Make sure that it is closed. So we have our little dangle part. Next we're going to put on our bead cap. Um, bead cap facing down and add on our little flower if I can find the hole maybe there we go I think my eye pin's a little big a little thick Okay, it wasn't my eye, um, my eye pin wasn't thick, it was kind of bent, so bead wouldn't go in there. So, there we go. We're going to put on our spacer bead on the top, and then make our loop. So our loop is done. Now we're going to add on our ear wire. Close it up. And we are done. There's our cute little earrings. I like the way they came out. Love the blue colors in there. Beachy but a little dressy. So they were easy to make and didn't really take that long. Okay, 
so I'm going to put these on the earring display and we'll take a look at them. Okay, so I got the earrings on the earring display so we can look at how they uh, dangle. Really like them. They turned out super cute. Love the blue colors in there. So they've got dangle to them, some movement. If you enjoyed my video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. It really helps my channel. Check out my Etsy shop. I'll leave the link down below in the description. Consider subscribing if you like jewelry tutorials and bead hauls. Thanks for watching my video and have a great day.